In this video, we're going to learn about 45-45-90 right triangles. 45-45-90 right triangles are an example of a special right triangle, and there are two special right triangles that you should know. They're named by their angles. So a 45-45-90 right triangle has angles of 45 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees. So the 90 degree angle is our right angle, and the other two angles are each 45 degrees. Now because two of the angles are the same, it means that two of the sides will be the same length. So this is actually an isosceles triangle. And these are the two sides that are the same length. Now there's an interesting property here that will always exist. If we call each of these sides x, then the hypotenuse of this right triangle will always be x times the square root of 2. So for example, if each of the legs of this triangle were 10, just as an example, that would mean that the hypotenuse would be 10 root 2. Now you might wonder why this is, and we can pretty easily prove this using the Pythagorean theorem. So let's suppose that we didn't know what this third side was, and we're trying to derive it to figure out why it's x root 2. So what we know is that that third side, if we call it c, we know that x squared plus x squared, so our two legs here squared, a and b, will equal c squared. So that means I can combine like terms, and we have 2x squared equals c squared. And when we square root both sides, we get root 2 times x equals c. And another way of writing this is just x root 2. So the third side will always be x times the square root of 2. And this relationship will always work as long as it's a 45-45-90 right triangle. It's called a special right triangle just because it has this special relationship and also because they show up fairly often. One common place that you will see 45, 45, 90 right triangles is as half of squares. If you have a square, remember it would have all four angles are right angles and all four sides are the same length. So if we draw in a diagonal, you might wonder, well, what's the length of that diagonal? Well, look what we've created right here. That diagonal is going to bisect these angles. So if this is a right triangle that has two congruent acute angles, they must each be 45 degrees. So this triangle right here is a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. Again, we have two sides that are the same length. So the hypotenuse will always be whatever the side length of the square was times root 2. So let's say this square had all four sides were 8. That means that the diagonal of the square is just going to be 8 root 2. Now let's suppose you had a situation where you knew the hypotenuse but didn't know the legs. So let's say you had this situation and you knew that these were each 45, 45 angles. So this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle and the hypotenuse was 12, and you're trying to figure out one of the legs. Well, you can still use this pattern and just work backwards, because 12 is still your x root 2. So what you're trying to do here is solve for x. You're basically dividing by root 2 in order to go backwards and figure out what x is. So you have this equation, 12 equals our x root 2. To solve it, you're dividing both sides by root 2. So x equals 12 over root 2, and this is an expression you can rationalize if you want to get rid of the square root in the denominator, which is a common thing, although it's becoming less important, some people believe. But you want to multiply each part of the fraction by root 2, and that would give you 12 root 2 over 2, because root 2 times root 2 is root 4 which is just 2, and then we can simplify this in order to get 6 root 2. So in this case, each of the legs of this triangle must have been 6 root 2. 
So either way, you can use this relationship for a 45-45-90 triangle to find missing sides relatively quickly using this special pattern.